Of course, the Democrats are already campaigning to replace Trump, and the circular firing squad has begun. I'll tell you all about it in tonight's Doing It Donkey Style. Anyone but Trump! We... I believe we are still... We are still 501 days away from the election. But for the moment, the Democratic frontrunner is former vice president and man who just lost his fingers to a bologna slicer, <laughs> Joe Biden. Biden spoke at a private fundraiser earlier this week and told the big donors that he didn't want to demonize the wealthy and added that under his presidency, no one's standard of living will change. Nothing will fundamentally change. <laughs> oh, okay. That explains Biden's inspiring update to Obama's campaign poster. <laughs> but, but, the comments, the comments that really uh, got Biden in some hot water are about his ability to work with people that he disagrees with. Specifically, segregationists like Mississippi Senator James Eastland. Eastland wasn't just some folksy uncle who occasionally made embarrassing racist remarks at Thanksgiving dinner. He was a staunch opponent of desegregation. He degraded black soldiers who fought in World War II as physically and morally incompetent, was called the voice of the white South, and said the Mississippi civil rights workers murdered in 1964 were just staging a publicity stunt. Listen, I get Joe Biden being proud of his ability when he was in the Senate to work with people he didn't agree with. But he didn't have to pick that guy. I do a lot of volunteer work. Once I painted a school with Jeffrey Dahmer. I mean, we fundamentally, <laughs> we fundamentally disagree about cannibalism, but the guy did bring his own lunch. <laughs> hey, speaking of campaigns, here's a campaign throwback Thursday. We got some news about failed Alabama Senate candidate and disappointing Westworld sex robot Roy Moore. <laughs> If you don't remember Moore, lucky you, <laughs> he famously lost his Senate race in 2017 after it came out that he had faced charges of sexually abusing underage girls. In fact, his reputation was so notorious, Moore was banned from the local mall. <laughs> so I look forward to his campaign posters. Roy Moore 2020, hey, can somebody hang this up in the mall for me? <laughs> well, at a very forgiving crowd. Yeah, it is. Very forgiving. Grace. Grace and peace. Fans of malls here tonight. <laughs> well, at a press conference today in Montgomery, Alabama, Moore made a big announcement. Yes, I will run for the United States Senate in 2020. I'm surprised he's still interested in 2020. He's known to be more into the teens. <laughs> but... Oh don't worry. Oh, my. Don't worry. Moore has learned from his past. When asked by journalists what he'll do differently this time around, he replied, I would like to make more personal contact with people. <laughs> Run, Alabama, lock your doors! Or hide in the mall, it's the only place he can't get you. We got a great show for you tonight.